finally filming a everyday makeup tutorial which has been on my list you guys have been asking over on instagram if my self tanner is messed up on my neck just don't mind it okay starting off with foundation i've been using this all hours foundation it has sunscreen in it it's from ysl and it's so freaking good i wear it in the shade mw2 I like to first move it around my fingers, warm it into the skin. I always think YSL makeup products smell really good too. Okay, and then take my damp sponge and just pat it in. Next, I'm gonna use the Shape Tape by Tarte. I forgot the name of it. Actually. This is in the shade Light Sand. Grab a setting spray. Thank you. And I'm gonna take this setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I just like to do a layer of setting spray on top of my concealer. I'm gonna just use my sponge and punch it all in. Let me zoom you guys a little more. The crows are going through something outside. Okay, next I'm just gonna go in with the Fenty Banana filter powder I'm taking a break from cream contour and cream bronzer i'm just going through something about it so i like to take this little i think this is an elf brush it's like a blush brush just pat this under my eyes the spots that i get the most oily i like to use this little brush and just pat it in and then i'll take a bigger brush and just do a little bit like all over. Those little like press powder sponges, I have no idea why I haven't ordered one yet. Like the easiest thing to get off of Amazon, I order other things from Amazon, I haven't ordered one of those still. Like some weird thing that I have. I'm gonna take the Cherry Blossom Powder by Huda Beauty. This is like a pink powder and just do a little bit of this under the eyes too. Just nice and bright. I kind of messed up. I meant to do my liquid blush before doing all that, but I didn't. So here we are. I'm gonna do it now. All right, for the liquid blush, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty first in the shade Joy, and I like to put this on the palm of my hand to warm it up and then just like press it into the cheeks. Then I'm gonna take this Euphoria blush. This is like a um, oil blush that goes with the pH of your skin and it's a little bit different for everyone. It's super pink and I love it. It's like the prettiest blush. It's such a pretty texture because it is an oil, so it just makes you super glowy, and I don't know, I love it. It's really good on the lips, too. A little on the eyes, tie it all in. Okay. Then I'm just gonna like re-powder this area a little excess since I did that out of order. This is what happens when I film a makeup tutorial. Just mess stuff up. If you've never filmed doing your makeup, just try it and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just, it's just a different. It just comes out different. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. You just use a little brush that comes in it and just go like this on my cheek a little. Very lightly. I'm gonna contour my nose with this too. Just this little brush. is from Misguided. It's instant vacay bronzer. Just take this. Warm up the face. 
And then some more blush on top, like a powder blush on top. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. And I'm probably gonna mix, I like these three colors usually. A little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. These are really pigmented blushes, so I feel like it kind of just brings more color. And I'm in my blush era. I like a lot of blush. So, if you don't, you don't do too much. If you do too much, you can just put a little setting powder over top. And then the last blush that I like to use is kind of like a highlight blush. This is Laura Geller, and it's this try thing. I'm just going to mix all of those. Just one a little higher since it's like a highlighter. Always do a little on my forehead. And again, if you want to like tone it down or just kind of like mix it in with everything else, you can use your big fluffy brush that you use for your setting powder. Just like a little trick I like to do. Now, my foot's asleep. Let's move on to the eyes. Something, I do my makeup different literally every day. So this is just one of the ways that I've been doing it that you guys have been asking about. So I'm gonna do that version today. I'm gonna take a Kohl um, eyeliner. Shoot, a Okay, so this is kind of like a siren eye vibe. My brows are all wonky. Oh, my foot is asleep so bad. Okay, so I'm taking this. I can't find my sharpener right now, so this one is just like retractable. This is Makeup Forever. It's the Aqua Resist Color Pencil. It's just a black pencil. I'm just gonna line my lower waterline. Okay, and then I like to take a little on the ends, just like a tiny bit, and push it out. And then I like to go all the way into the inner. Corner. And then what we're gonna do with that little bit that we pushed out, just take, um, I kind of like a round brush like this for this, that's really fine at the bottom, or at the top, and just like flick it out like a liner. Kind of a like softer, smoked out way to do a liner that I really like. Then I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and this mascara. I love this mascara. It's from Lancome. So like nice and precise, and it doesn't make your lashes like too caked on. It's more natural, fine mascara. I would say. I have a lot of lashes, like I have dense lashes, and it's, it's easy for them to look kind of clumpy because of that. This one is really good for avoiding that. Okay, well I let my eye lashes dry a little bit. I'll do some brows. So this is the Refi pencil. I don't know what color this is. It's kind of like a reddish brown though. Very warm toned brown. I like it. I like like all different brow colors. Do like cooler toned, warmer toned. Fill everything in. Then over top of that for brows, I always love this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. I think it's in chocolate, yes. Just brush that through. I feel like this is the perfect finishing touch for my brows. I've used this for so many years. Okay, and then this is also a classic favorite of mine. This is the Iconic London Illuminator Drops. I like to use these just straight on the skin as a highlighter. I know that's not that sanitary and it freaks some people out, so. That's you, just don't do that. Do like a little dot on the bridge and a little dot on the tip of my nose and then blend them in. It's just such a pigmented highlight, it's so pretty. I also like to put this on my inner corner, but um, the style of like eye makeup we're doing today, that's not the best for. So going back to that, I'm gonna take this tart. I was gonna say shape tape again. Okay, I'm just gonna take this. It's just like a neutral 
browns palette and what color am I gonna do? Maybe like this color down here, take a little bit of this and just like smoke out the lower lash line. Okay, and then for lashes, do I wanna do, I've been wearing these Lily lashes. This is like this light butterfly one. I'm gonna do these ones. The style is, I'm not sure what the style is, Paris. And then I've been using the glue that came with these and I'm just gonna pop it on like the outer corner of my eye. While I wait for the glue to dry, I'll just like put in my little beauty marks. The ColourPop um, freckle pen. I like to go over my natural beauty marks and add a few more too. I just think they're fun. Oh, putting on lashes is like such a struggle. Okay, whatever. I'm good with it. I love what lashes can do. They literally can be such a pain to get on. Alright, let's do the lips and we'll be done. Okay, finishing it off. I'm gonna take the Dibs liner. I can never tell like what the shades are on these because I don't think they're written on them. So they use, or they have this like contour shade that's like a grayish brown shade and then the actual liner shade and I honestly don't know what colors they are, I'm sorry. But they don't have that many. I want to say this contour one is shade like two for the contour shades because I think that's how it goes. And then this one is just like a, I don't know what shade this is, maybe like four? And then I'm going to take this Laura Mercier in a la rose or a la rose, like a pinky shade. I like to pat my lipsticks in. As well swipe sometimes. Use my finger. Then I like to add some more color. So this is the Fenty like lip stain, I forget what they're called, in Zesty Bestie. So this is like a reddish orange, which is kind of random, but I like to just, you know, mix some things. I like to be like a chemist with my lip products. I like, this gives me like a little more color. And then, setting spray. Let me show you guys better light. Okay, so this is the look in better lighting. It's glowy, it matches like pretty much every outfit. It's pretty simple. So, hopefully that helps anyone that was looking for a makeup look tutorial. Yo. <laughs> We're in our running errands era. That's literally life. Running errands era. That is literally my life. I'm in my Trevor Lawrence era, I guess. Trevor. Oh, I got my hair done. Got his hair did. Got some color, guys. Brought back the color. It's really weird that I have to be down here, but that's <laughs> the only way to show it. Let me pop the sunroof. Boom, look at that. Just lighten it up a bit. Got it cut. Looks really Turned thick. Turned on thick, guys. It literally looks so thick. It looks really thick. Like he always thinks his hair is thinning. Remember we did the affirmations. Yep. He took the JS Health Vitamins. I also think that like a little bit of bleach in it makes it look thicker. Makes it look, thick. have some dimension. Look how thick this looks. It looks look really this. good. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it's thicky thick. thick. I went to Jack Henry and the girl that does my hair there is Taylor. Henry, no relation. Oh. But yeah, uh, Jack Henry's a good vibe. I, I don't know, if, I think on Instagram a long time ago I shared some of their products. They have good I men's like men's grooming products. I have a really good uh, fragrance from them right now. Can I just, can uh, I just have a minute? What's up? 
when you have like little things in your eyes, you know, like mm -hmm. a little corner, a little booger, if you will, yeah. when you have nails like this, it's near impossible to get them out. You want me to do it for you? No. I feel like I won't scare me too much. I just wanted to vent for a second. That was beautiful. You're always welcome to vent. Thank this is you. It's a safe space for venting. Thank you. You too. Oh, I'm really giving Trevor Lawrence. You are, babe. And I don't know what the obsession is with the headband look, but you know, it just entered our life in 2023, and I just don't know if it's one that needs to stay. Queen hates headbands, but like my hair, the roots today, like I just don't know what was going on. Like, this is not it. Like, please. <laughs> like, it was, it was necessary. I also think headbands are so cute. Well, don't wear it so high. Clean. Try a little bit lower. It's not that high. If I wear it lower, it's more like I'm a bro. Like, you want it right here? Like, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't get it over these hoops. Like, you, I'm a ninja turtle right now. Is this what you want? Ninja turtle. Oh, no, you can't touch it. A literal ninja turtle. Little, can no! I do it a little bit lower? <laughs> No, babe. Uh, just a tad lower. Boom. Like, I look like a Ninja Turtle. No, you don't. <laughs> what is this? What? Like, you just made me have a one inch forehead. One inch forehead. No. Okay, I'm putting my hat back on because my hair looks fluffy today. <laughs> Dude, what's going on with my hair? We, we got some hair deals going on. No. <laughs> I really, really run it. No. I'll, I'll run into my hair. Why did you just say no? No. 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 <laughs> We're out running some errands, and we thought we would just uh, address a little elephant in the room vibe while we're on this errand run. Yeah. Because we get a lot of questions about it. Just a little update, so yeah. you're not sitting around wondering and worrying about us all the time. So, They're not. I'm no. flattering myself. But. No. We just wanted to, yeah, just talk about it. It's part of our lives. You guys know about it, everything. So... A lot of you have been asking what's going on with Boyd, if we're still running it, if When's we're coming next drop? out yeah, with new things, yada, yada, yada. So, with Boyd, we've decided to pretty much take a complete step back and table it for the time being um, and just kind of take it off our plates completely. Mm -hmm. Like anything in life that you try that's new, starting our own clothing brand and running that and everything was a completely new experience that we did basically all on our own and mm -hmm. it definitely posed a lot of issues and kind of setbacks for us personally and that is to be expected doing anything like that i think everyone universally yeah. agrees like owning your own business is something hard to do while also still doing our other business like everything else we do on social media is already a full-time job and we kind of just realized when we were trying to balance both of them that we prefer and get a lot more joy from being creators mm -hmm. more than we do like running a clothing brand and that is just kind of like a whole other topic I feel like that we yeah. could go really deep into and like share our whole experience and kind of what didn't work for us and everything but just to give you guys an update and some insight it was just something that wasn't really making us happy and it was causing a lot of like stress and turmoil yeah. in our lives yeah and I think it doesn't take a whole lot to figure out like oh if this one thing is giving me a lot of pain and pushback and trouble in my life let me just remove it from my plate yeah no and it was it was something that we definitely look back on and understand it was we learned so much about ourselves we learned even more about our desires in life and what we find them to be the most important things in our life and one thing that Boyd was taking away from was Delaney and I having like more quality time together and less time that, or more time that wasn't centered around work. Mm -hmm. So running Boyd pretty much eliminated all quality time yeah. between us. I mean, we obviously still were able to connect, but it, it made our have... life a lot more 
work focused. Yeah. So there wasn't enough balance in our lives. And like a good point of that is we didn't have really any free time. It, it wasn't like, oh, we have so much free time. Like let's start a company. We didn't really have any free time. And then we just like added something. So then it, it was just really compounded and we were like we have literally no free time like we're not allowed to talk to each other about yeah. literally anything other than work and it just like it wasn't good for our relationship and it also wasn't good for like other relationships in our lives either like just kind Seeing of the, family and... yeah like the demand of like being certain places at certain times to run our company and like get everything done and all of that stuff took away from like going home and being with my grandparents and like being able to have more time to spend with family and yeah. You know, just at the end of the day, it just wasn't really panning out for us. And I think we are definitely the type of people to never say never. Who knows what will happen and where it will go. And like Clayton said, we're yeah. really grateful that we experienced that. And we have preferences and knowledge because of it. But for right now, we are just not in love with owning a clothing brand. So we're really not making it. A big part of our lives it's kind no. of as simple as that yeah and I definitely wanted to you know thank you guys for all of the support and cheering on that you guys gave us over the last two years um, we're doing that and supporting purchasing reposting telling your friends about it all that stuff like that was incredible like yeah. all that support we got and we couldn't have been as successful with it without you guys so yes. thank you for that that so was much. the best part and you guys supporting us in our dreams no matter what we want to do including like starting a clothing mm -hmm. brand and deciding a clothing brand is not for us like we just appreciate the endless support and kindness and love and community that we have here yeah. because we really are just so grateful for it and we never want to take it for granted so like Clayton said everything from top to bottom that you guys have done to support us in that venture we really really appreciate yeah thank you guys for that so much yes and you know we're obviously still very ambitious people we're working on other projects we are always trying to create things create avenues and so you guys will have more to see from us and you know yeah. we're excited for the future and we're excited to always not have, have to not have boyd on our plate right now yeah or forever who knows yeah it's just so that's you know kind of just letting you guys know um if you guys want to hear more we can definitely go deeper into this topic and more details mm -hmm. in the future let us know i don't know if that's like interesting to people or if anyone cares i feel like this is really like the tea that most people yeah. are looking for but if you guys want to know more we could tell you more <laughs> there's a lot more there's, like there's yeah, a we lot could, we could get into the this could be an hour-long conversation the easy. mud of it yeah like the the yeah but this is the this the, is the gist the bird's eye view the yeah. gist yeah so. and we are really excited for like everything that we have going on we're, we're also just really excited i talked about this recently somewhere but um just excited with like being content a little bit mm -hmm. like we are ambitious and we do like evolving and working hard and everything but at the same time like we are just so happy and grateful with like where we're at in our lives and what we've built career wise and also like the community that we've built mm -hmm. on social media and as fun and exciting and cool as it is to like continue to grow those things that is really not like our main focus right now we're just really happy with where we're at and we mm -hmm. want to just like savor that we want to enjoy our time together the mm -hmm. lifestyle that we've built together our community like we just want to relish in things that we have worked hard yep. for to some extent and of course like you said we're, we're always gonna be like doing something and getting up to things we have really fun exciting projects going on in our lives right now that we'll be sharing more of soon but there is also something to be said for just like being happy where yep. we are yeah exactly like focusing more on just well-being than like the hustle yeah and just like so, time with each other and yeah. like you know just the things that are really important to us in life and that matter a lot we never want our ambitions career-wise or something to get in the way of that which is something that was happening with yeah. Boyd so we yep. said bye. bye I think it, I think this is also kind of a reminder like everybody out there like don't put yourself through too much like if it doesn't feel right don't do it it's nothing to be ashamed of like if you need to change your job because your job is demanding too much of you or if you want to put down that extra project you picked up 
because it's demanding too much of you like you don't need to always be chasing things mm -hmm. because I mean in the end that's kind of what our society revolves around it's just kind of a reminder that those things aren't you know focus on yourself do what feels right yeah definitely so. and just like be okay with your truth and like there's a lot of pride when you do something new when you put your name on it when you put yourself out there whatever it is there's a lot of pride in deciding okay that's not the right decision for me and I'm changing my mind or mm -hmm. whatever um, and I think that it's a beautiful thing to be okay with that change and, you know, yep. just being true to yourself. Exactly. True to yourself. Love you. True to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I'm true to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna go get back to these errands. Who are errandeurs? Errand Nation.